So I found some really cool things that you can do with the Google AI Studio and I wanted to share them with you. But in case you haven't heard of the Google AI Studio, let's first of all cover the basics. So Google AI Studio is a user-friendly platform that allows you to build and experiment with generative AI. So it's like a sort of sandbox that you can use to experiment with different models. So let's get started with me showing you the cool things that you can do with Google AI. So how do you access Google AI Studio? First of all, you need to know that all Google Workspace users have access to AI Studio by default, but you can search for it, which is what we are going to do. So just search for Google AI Studio. It's going to be this one here. So you just click on it and you're going to be asked to sign in if you haven't already signed in into your Google account. So this is what your dashboard looks like and you can close out on that so it doesn't look too complicated. So on the left side panel here, we have different things that you can do with Google AI Studio. So you have creating a prompt. This is where you can prompt it to do different things. We have stream real time. We also have starter apps. We have how you can tune a model. But today I just want us to focus on the stream real time here because this one was really interesting for me and I think you're also going to enjoy it. So when you click on it, you have talk to Gemini live here and you can interact with Gemini using text, voice, video, or screen sharing. So if we scroll down here, you can see that we can be able to talk to Gemini. So we can start a real time conversation using our microphone. We can show Gemini and then we can also share the screen. We are going to do those three things just now. So the first one, we click on this talk to Gemini and it's going to ask us to give permission for using the microphone. So we're going to tell it to allow this time. Okay. Hi Gemini, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Yeah, what so are you doing today? I was hoping you could help me with something. Sure, I'd be happy to help if I can. What is it that you need help with? Yeah, so I was thinking of uh, like a business idea that I could start. And one of the things that I was thinking of selling is water bottles. Do you think water bottles is a good business idea? That's interesting that you're thinking of starting a business. Selling water bottles could be a viable business idea. However, the success of your business would depend on various factors. Would you like to discuss some of them? I would, actually. Okay, great. Some important factors to consider include your target market, the pricing strategy, the competition, and also your marketing plan. Would you like to discuss any of these in detail? Yeah, so that's the audio part of how you can stream real time with Gemini. So you can just start a conversation with it and you can just uh, let it know what you're thinking. And it's also going to help you out maybe with your thoughts or something you'd like help with. Now, the second way is that you can actually show Gemini something using your camera and it's going to help you out with um, what it is that you're doing. So for this one, I actually use my phone for this. So how to access Google AI Studio on your phone is the same thing that we did. You can just search for it so once you've searched for it and then you can sign in if you haven't already so if you go to the stream real time here and then you click on show gemini it's going to activate the camera part of your phone and you just give it access for that so this is a conversation that i had with gemini regarding an actual water bottle that i showed it so you can just watch it so i have this water bottle and i was thinking of starting to sell similar bottles in nairobi kenya my target audience is um corporate moms working in Nairobi. Um, do you think that's a viable idea? The user is selling similar bottles, like the black one in the image, to corporate moms in Nairobi, Kenya. They are asking if this is a viable business idea. Would you like help exploring the viability of this business idea? Or do you have any other questions? I would like you to, you know, to tell me whether it's a viable idea and also to give me some um, pretty cool marketing strategies. Do you think you can do that? User would like to know if selling bottles to corporate moms in Nairobi is a viable idea and wants some marketing strategies for this product. I can certainly help with that. Let's start with some ideas for marketing strategies. Do you prefer to start with online or offline strategies? Uh, definitely online, definitely online. And by the way, if you're enjoying the video, ensure you like it and subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate all the love and support. Let's continue. Yeah, so I found this to be more helpful than the earlier conversation that we had with Gemini because you see at some point, Gemini said um, they were not a business consultant and they couldn't help anymore. But when I actually showed Gemini what we were talking about, I felt that it was more willing to help me with uh, marketing strategies. It was more willing to help me with uh, 
brainstorming like ideas that we could come up with for my business so i think um i mean you can try it out in different ways let me know in the comments down below how your experience was so the third way is for us to share a script so i'm just going to share the screen with gemini and then we're just going to have a conversation it's going to help me out in solving um some different issues that i have on my machine so you can just watch along for that so just click on share screen okay okay i hear you saying okay is there anything you would like to talk about or any questions i can help you with yeah sorry so i was talking to um the camera i just want you to help me out with some apps i have here so we have this spreadsheet so can you see my spreadsheet okay you're asking for help with some apps and you want me to look at a spreadsheet i can see the spreadsheet you're sharing with me is there anything specific you would like me to do with it? If you can look at, uh, this is column C, I have my categories. So this is sort of like a household expenditure list. So I have categories, I have housing, food, utilities, entertainment, and so on. But I don't know how to add a drop uh, down uh, list because I want to not have to type in the categories every time I'm working on this. Could you help me with that? I understand. You would like to add a drop down list to column C in your spreadsheet. Yep. So you don't have to type in categories each time. I can help you with that. Would you like me to guide you on how to add the drop down list step by step? Yes, yes. Okay, let's get started. First, select all the cells in column C where you want the drop down list to appear. Do you know how to select all the cells in a column? Is it um, just selecting the column uh, like that? Is that how I should do it? Yes, that is correct. You can select the entire column by clicking on the letter C at the top. Now that you have selected column C, are you ready for the next step? Yes. Great. Now that the column is selected, go to the data menu at the top of the screen. Do you see the data menu? Yeah. Okay. Now that you have located the data menu, click on it. A drop down menu should appear. In that menu, look for the option called data validation and click on that. Do you see that? Yeah, done, done. Okay, great. Now that you have opened the data validation rules settings, you will see a new sidebar appear on the right. This sidebar lets you customize your drop down list. The first thing you will see in that menu is criteria. Under criteria, select the option list from a range. Do you see list from a range in the criteria settings? Um, so I got add rules. Uh, I see criteria. Is, is this it? Okay. Could you... It seems that the list... Yeah? Is this... Is this what we are talking about? Okay. Yes, that is correct. Under the drop-down menu for criteria, you should select drop-down from a range. Once you click on that option, a new box will appear below. Are you able to see the new enter a range or formula box? Yes, yes. Can I just select right. the range or do I have... Grid Sorry, can I just select the range or do I have to enter actual cells? You can select the range of cells that will be used for your drop-down list. Click on the icon with a grid on the right side of the Select a Data Range box. It will allow you to select a range from your spreadsheet. Okay, could you give me an example of the range I could enter in here? Sure, for your category drop-down list, you can use the list of categories you have already entered in column C. For example, you can click on the icon with a grid, and then select the range C1 to C5. This range will include housing, food, utilities, entertainment, and healthcare in your drop-down list. Would you like to do this now? I think I've done it, yes. But okay, it says... you've selected the range... I have an error here. It says the selected ranges cannot intersect um could you check what the problem could be it appears you've entered the same range for both the apply to range and data range causing mm -hmm. the error the apply to range should refer to the cells where you want the drop down to be applied and the data range should refer to the range of the data used to populate the drop down menu can you try to change the apply to range to only include the first cell of your table which should be c1 I still have the error. Do you want me to select, um, maybe change uh, to a new category at the at E? Do you want me to put in a new category at E? 
Yes, let's try that. Please put the range for your list of categories in a separate column, let's say column E, starting from E1, and then use that range to populate the drop down in the category column. Okay, I think that worked. So now I have, um, actually I think I'll want it um, to be E2. So like that's where I have the, like the first one. Yeah, I think, I think it will work well now. So now is, is my drop down complete now? Yeah, so you've seen we've been able to add in a drop down list just by using um, Gemini, which I think is really cool. So in case we wanted to add in like a new thing here, maybe this is like car wash. So we went to the car wash and um, we wanted to find uh, like the category for this. So uh, we'd probably swap this cell here. Yeah, so we'd probably have uh, this cell here and this would probably just say a uh, category there. So if we came here, I think our drop down would work here. Yeah, so if we just pull down this and we just enter in our category, so this would probably be in uh, utilities maybe or transportation. Yeah. Yeah, so you see that was really nice that we would be able to do this. And so now we could decide that this is just the main category and this is where we are actually entering our drop down. So this would be housing, um, this would be uh, food. Yeah, and then the list can continue on and on and we just drag down that. So I think that was a really cool way um, of Gemini helping us. So let's try something else with this. So we'll just go back to Gemini here. Again, we'll uh, share the screen. Okay, I wanted you to help me out with uh, my logo. Can you see my logo here? Yes, I can see your logo. It has a dark blue background with a yellow stripe on the right side and the text Paris Musioki and YouTube channel in the center. So this, um, this logo, I just uh, created it using AI and um, you can see YouTube is already uh, spelled wrong. But I was thinking, could you help me out with uh, colors? I was thinking more colors, more not logo. Could you help me out with the colors? Do you think the dark blue and the yellow go together? Certainly, I can help you with that. You mentioned that you created the logo using AI and notice that YouTube is misspelled. You'd like help with colors and want to know if the dark blue and yellow work well together. Is that right? Yes. Maybe I could just open a new page here and you could we could just go to like the background color wheel here and you can just tell me which shade of blue would go with which shade of yellow. So I've just opened uh, like, um, you know, the, the color selector. So give me the numbers of a blue that I could try with a yellow. I see that you opened a new page and then the color selector. You're now asking for the numbers or hex codes of different shades of blue that yes. would go with yellow. Is that correct? Yes, yes. Okay. For a classic and bright look, you could try number 007BFF for a vibrant blue and pair it with hashtag FD700 for gold yellow. For a more subtle look, try number 6A5ACD for a slate blue and pair it with hashtag Fafad2 for a light goldenrod yellow. Which of those looks more like what you had in mind? You, um, I think you're too fast. So I have the first one was um, 007BFF for the blue. What was the yellow? I understand. You thought I was too fast. Yes. The hex code for the first blue I mentioned is number 007BFF. And the corresponding yellow was hash FFD700. Yeah, so those are some of the ways that you can use the Google AI Studio Stream real-time feature. Let me know in the comments down below whether you've tried it out and what you've used it for. In case you want to learn more on how you can create using AI, ensure you subscribe to the channel. My name is Paris and I'll catch you on the next one.